Do you have fat in your liver? Do you know which fruits are the best and also the worst? The ones you should avoid if you have fat in your liver, also known as hepatic steatosis, which happens when fat accumulates in the liver. And why is this so dangerous? Because this fat in the liver can inflame the liver, can cause liver damage, and can lead to scarring in the liver. This leads to what we call fibrosis, which is an area of the liver that no longer functions. If this isn't treated or identified, it can even progress to cirrhosis. When the liver loses its function, you end up with a whole series of consequences. When this advanced stage of cirrhosis occurs, it even increases the risk of liver cancer. That's why fat in the liver is so dangerous, which can inflame the liver, causing what we call steatohepatitis. Man, with those consequences I mentioned. So, if you have a fatty liver, you need to be very careful about it. And this applies to all degrees. Whether it's grade 1 fatty liver, the mild form, grade 2, or grade 3. You need to be careful with this and know which fruits are the best and which are the worst. I made a ranking here with the 10 best, and I'm going to tell you the 5 worst. The ones you should avoid. And then I'll tell you. Some fruits that are in the middle ground. Those fruits you shouldn't completely avoid, but they're also not great for your liver. They're in that middle range, kind of intermediate, so to speak. I always get asked about this. Well, what are the 10 best fruits for fatty liver? The number one fruit is avocado. Avocado has healthy fats, monounsaturated fats, that can improve your cholesterol and the fats in your blood. It also has fiber and very few carbohydrates, very little sugar. What happens when you eat a fruit that has more sugar? Is your liver going to metabolize that? When your body metabolizes it, your blood sugar levels will go up. If you already have a problem with your metabolism, this can be harmful to your body. Why did I mention a problem with metabolism? Because someone who doesn't have fatty liver, who doesn't have any insulin resistance, for example, eating a fruit isn't going to harm them, okay? Other foods that are industrialized, ultra-processed, with added sugar, those foods, yes, are harmful to the liver. So, if you don't have any kind of problem, it's not because you're eating avocado that you'll get fatty liver. Now, for those who already have fatty liver, then you need to be careful. That's when things change. Duh. That's why there's so much controversy. Some say, oh no, fruits are totally fine. And others say they're not. So, that's the issue. If you already have a problem, already have fatty liver, hey, that's a red flag, then yes, you really need to watch your diet much more closely. So avocado is an excellent fruit, and it's going to be number one on our list. Number two is orange. Orange with the pulp, okay, with the fiber part. Why? When you eat an orange, you get a lot of antioxidant vitamins, not just vitamin C, but many other vitamins as well. And it also has fiber, which helps stabilize blood sugar levels. So give preference to eating the fruit with the fiber, because that will make a difference in your diet. So don't worry, but oranges have more fructose than pineapple. They really do. But as you saw, it's not that fructose that's going to harm you. No one ends up with a sick liver, like, oh, this person has cirrhosis. But what happened? Did they eat too many oranges? Have you ever heard that? Yeah. So you can really relax when it comes to fruit, because they're good for our bodies. So orange makes the list of the best ways. Fruit number eight. This is one of the best foods in the world, which is the apple. And that's apple with the skin. In the skin, we have soluble fibers like pectin. And apples also have lots of vitamins and minerals that our bodies need. Besides improving your cholesterol with soluble fiber, Apples also provide you with vitamins and benefit your gut. Apples are excellent and make our list of the best fruits for people with fatty liver. They also won't harm your liver. On the contrary, they'll even help your metabolism and your body overall. I eat apples every day and I think they're excellent. Fruit number seven is kiwi. Kiwi contains a substance that's been widely studied for blood pressure control. So for those with high blood pressure, Here's another reason to eat kiwi. There are also some studies showing that eating kiwi can improve your sleep. Look how interesting that is. A fruit with few carbohydrates that can offer several benefits for your body. 
That's why it's number seven on our list. Number six, which is also a very interesting fruit, is the strawberry. But I'm not just going to include strawberries here. Because the strawberry group, the group of red fruits, is really interesting, with lots of antioxidants and many substances that fight free radicals. That's beneficial for your metabolism. So strawberries, cherries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries? If you eat or consume fruits from this group, you're doing something good for your health. I really like strawberries, but raspberries too. It's just that raspberries aren't very available here in my region. But now there are plenty of cherries too. And at a pretty good price too. I'm in Porto Alegre right now. And these are the red fruits that are most common here in my region. Strawberries and cherries. And what about your region? Which part of the world are you from? Let me know here. And which red fruit is most common in your area? In some places, raspberries are really cheap. And in other places, blackberries are cheaper. Write it here for me. Don't forget to mention your city, because at the end of the video, I'll send a shout out. Number five, this one is extremely beneficial, guava. Guava has few carbohydrates. It's a fruit with less carbs. So it's excellent for people with fatty liver. And it also has fewer calories. So for those who are watching their calories, for those on a diet or who don't want to lose weight, guava is excellent. Add it to your diet too, just like I said about oranges. Go for it. You can eat as much as you want. There's none of that old story. Here, there's diabetes. Look, this person is diabetic just because they ate guava. Have you ever heard that? So, no, right? If someone develops insulin resistance, it's going to be because of other habits. I'll talk more about that later too, but it's not because they ate too much guava. So guava will make you feel full, it help you control your weight, and it's also good for your liver. Number four is also another fruit, really delicious, one I really like, which is melon. Melon is a refreshing fruit. It has fiber, vitamins, and minerals that will strengthen your health and your immunity. And it will also provide you with a lot of calories. It's a fruit that has a lot of volume, very few calories, and can help your liver. Fruit number three is papaya. Papaya is the target of a lot of misinformation. I'll explain why. When you analyze the nutritional composition and nutrients of a fruit, you've probably noticed the total number of carbohydrates, right? That's probably the only information a lot of people look at, the total number of carbohydrates. However, what really matters when you're eating fruit is the net carbohydrates. Wait, what are net carbohydrates? They're the carbohydrates you actually absorb. Did you know that fiber? Have you ever looked at the fiber section? That fiber counts toward the total carbohydrates. So you just need to do a very simple calculation. Total carbohydrates minus fiber. And then you'll have the carbohydrates that really matter, the ones you'll actually absorb. And a lot of people get this calculation wrong and end up labeling papaya as one of the worst fruits. Oh, because it has more carbohydrates. But it also has a lot of fiber, which helps stabilize blood sugar levels. Papaya is low in calories and has a good volume, which is great for satiety. So papaya is worth it. It's actually one of the best fruits, okay? Don't fall for that talk where people just look at one piece of information and spread it around carelessly. That can really mess up your life. I really like papaya too. I also eat it almost every day. Fruit number two is lemon. Lemon, by the way, can even be consumed as juice. It's one of the fruits you can have, even in juice form. You can squeeze the lemon, but I'm gonna add it here. Citrus fruits too, like passion fruit, are also going on this list. They're excellent and have few carbohydrates. You can have lemon without any problems. And fruit number one is pear. Pear is also a source of fiber, and here it's pear with the skin on, okay? Pear also has a significant amount of anti-inflammatory compounds, substances that will help your body. Plus, it keeps you feeling full, has few calories, and also contains a good type of carbohydrate, which will help in this case, if you have fatty liver. And now, what are the five you should avoid? This is a very delicate list, okay? Remember that with these fruits, I use the word forbidden. You saw it in the title, for example, to grab your attention and you really do need to avoid them. But it's not like eating a little bit of these fruits is gonna cause major damage. 
But now, if you already have a liver problem, then you really need to be careful. Let's not forget this point here. So, which fruit should you avoid? Well, I've picked out five here to add to our list. The first one is banana. Bananas have a much higher amount of carbohydrates. If you compare it to the other fruits I mentioned, to the other 10 fruits, it has more than double what many of them have. So, if you have insulin resistance, diabetes, fatty liver, or high triglycerides, you need to go easy on bananas, okay? If possible, swap guava, for example, for strawberries. That will be a good move for your health. And ideally, you should avoid very ripe bananas because their glucose is absorbed more easily. If it's a green banana, some people like it. That's a better option because it has a more resistant starch. This is not a myth. As the fruit ripens, it contains carbohydrates that will further increase your blood sugar levels. And for those who already have a problem, let's not forget this. This could make the situation even worse. So bananas, ripe. I'm putting an asterisk here so you can be more careful. Secondly, and this one should be avoided completely if possible, are fruits and syrup. Like canned peaches, for example, which have added sugar. There's a syrup there, the Thai and fructose. Yes, that fructose in the syrup is what you need to be careful about. So this isn't just a warning, it's a red alert. If possible, avoid fruits and syrup completely. Another one you should avoid completely are dried fruits, like prunes. So eat prunes with fiber, fresh prunes, and avoid dried or dehydrated fruits. If you ate papaya and there's dried papaya, choose the fresh papaya, which I mentioned as one of the best, and not the dry papaya. Not to mention that many times dried fruits also have added sugar, which makes it even worse. But let's suppose there's no added sugar. Just the concentration in dried fruits already makes things much worse. For those who have metabolic problems, this can be a factor that makes things worse, even more so. So avoid dry fruits. Number four, green grapes. Green grapes have a higher amount of sugar. And people with fatty liver should pay special attention. Oh, but I heard that green grapes, or even purple grapes, they have a very interesting amount of anti-inflammatory polyphenols. That's true. Now, for those who already have a problem, red flag here. You need to be careful with these fruits that have a higher concentration of carbohydrates. If you're diabetic, this can also be a factor that will raise your blood sugar levels. And number five, and this one if possible, avoid it too if you have fatty liver which is juice, fruit juice. So juices in general, orange juice, mango juice, pineapple juice, apple juice, grape juice, are more concentrated. And in juice, even if it's completely natural juice, you remove the fiber and are left with more concentrated sugar with a higher glycemic index, which will raise your blood sugar levels even more. And it comes with a larger portion, a bigger overload of fructose. So yes, people with liver disease can suffer more from this, so that's something to watch out for. These are the fruits you should be more careful with, and also the situations I mentioned earlier. Now, which fruits are kind of in the middle? The ones you might be able to have, but you need to. Take special care, okay? Pineapple has a higher glucose load. Figs also have a higher concentration. You can eat them, but you need to know they have a bit more glucose. We've already seen that watermelon has a pretty high glycemic index, but its sugar is present in a low concentration, so it has a low glycemic load. So the key here is to have a smaller portion of watermelon. There's also another fruit, which I like, but if you have fatty liver, you should be careful because mango has fiber, but it also has a higher sugar concentration. What other fruit should you also pay special attention to if you have fatty liver? That would be cashew fruit, jackfruit, and also dates. If you have fatty liver, it's not that these fruits are forbidden, right? I'm not gonna put them on the list of the worst, but there are those fruits that require more attention. All of these are fruits that are kind of in the middle. They're healthy, but if you have fatty liver, you should pay special attention. On a scale from zero to 10, what score would you give this video? Now, did you see that I mentioned what can really cause fatty liver? Can it affect your liver? I've already made a really comprehensive video about this, talking about the worst foods for people with fatty liver. Look, isn't that interesting? Unlike fruits, there are foods you need to be especially careful with. When you're shopping at the grocery store, for example, do you know which foods you should avoid and which ones you should choose? 
So watch this video here because I talk about it there. A lot of scientific evidence about fat in the liver. Take care.